this game? Well, I mean, it's always important for yeah, us to get him going. Yeah, and and, and um, he's gotten foul trouble in both first halves of our last two games, and that you know puts us you know in, in a more difficult situation, both offensively and you know human nature. When you're in foul trouble, you're not as aggressive defensively as well because you're worried about getting in, you know another foul. So. It, it, it's important, you know, obviously he, he's a big part of what we do. He's involved in every action that we run. So, you know, it's important that, that he gets off to a good start, plays solid defense and, and doesn't get in foul trouble for us. Do, in the back of your head, because of the foul trouble he's gotten into, do you think about defensive assignments when it comes to him? Well, you know, you know, To be the level of player that he wants to be and that we need him, you can't hide him on defense. And the other thing is, we're in the ACC, and there's not a lot of guys that are in starting lineups that you say, okay, we can hide a guy. Right. You know right. what I mean? You know, I mean, we, we, you're gonna, uh, you know, say, okay, you have, um, you, you're not gonna guard Connaughton, so now you're gonna be on Grant. Or you're not gonna be on Grant, now you're gonna guard Jackson. Right. It's just, just. They're, in, in January and February, there's no place to hide defense. How have you found the guys responding, uh, just attitude-wise and energy? And... Uh, you, you, you know, you tell me. No, I'm just trying to tell you in practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah t t take, you know, our guys have, have been great with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We had a great practice today. You know, yesterday, because of the schedule, you know, the day after the game, it's, it's more prep and lift and do stuff like that. Right. But, but, um, our guys, you know, and like I said, I, th I think there's only been a couple games and you're dealing with, you know, college students, so right. it's, not, it's not like that's out of the norm. It's only been a couple games. We right. haven't really played to our identity and, and to yeah. the effort and energy level that we need to play at. Yeah. And we've lost those games. Right. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the challenge is, as we talked about after the game, when you play that way and you still don't get the reward. Yeah. You know, um, but we've played four conference games and three of them against top 25 teams. Um, so we need to keep fighting, right. you know what I mean? We need to keep fighting. And, I, and our guys, I have all the confidence in the world, our guys will continue to do that. And do you have to speak into that at all? Or well, I mean, you, you, you know, the way I coach, I, you know, I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm honest, I don't sugarcoat things, I lay things on the line. Mm -hmm. These guys are young men and are maturing, that's the way the world's gonna be, so that's right. the way we, we coach and handle it. So do we talk about those things? Yeah. We also show them, you know, key areas that uh, we're really doing a great job in and some key areas where we've had some crucial breakdowns in. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, the, the whole key in that is to understand that, accept it, look in the mirror a little bit and say, that ain't, that's not going to happen again. All right. What's the status of Chuck going into the game? Is, I know he was a little dinged up. Oh, he's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. Michael Young, you're facing another big force in the conference as far as frontline players go. Uh, he, he rebounds, he scores, only a sophomore. Right, he's really good because he can hurt you in a lot of different ways. It's four offensive rebounds a game. He's really good in the post, and he's, he's you know, uh, uh, a post player that can step out and put the ball on the floor and, and so forth. So you have to do a good job on him. What you can't do is you can never relax. You know, because if you give him an angle, if you give him anything, then he's he's really tough to guard. And every time a shot goes up, you have to have a body on him. Sometimes two. <laughs> will you there, go with the same starting lineup? As yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yeah. I imagine, it, on the face of it, I guess you're wanting more defense. I mean, it, it seems like trading Corey for for Travis. You're actually getting a much better defensive player. Is that a large part of it? You mean or? Corey for Chris? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I, I just felt um, I, I was not pleased with our defensive effort at Wake Forest. Uh -huh. um, you know, obviously, you, you, you know, you, you got to give Corey Hayward a lot of credit. You know, he started 20-some games last year and wasn't playing much. But you, you wouldn't be able to tell that every day in practice right. and with his attitude, and you wouldn't have been able to tell that with the way he played because he really gave us a, a solid performance right. there. Um, also freed up Chris a little bit, I think. Uh -huh. um, you know, in, in, in terms of getting the flow of the game and coming out there. I think our starting lineup in, in, in a lot of situations, other than maybe, you know, a couple guys, is going to be a little more fluid 
uh, not only based on performance, but based on matchups, based on what we think we need to do in that particular game. Now. Um,